Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and uh, this week's project is putting an electrical plug in a place where there is none. Let me show you. So when the house was built all the electrical plugs was placed on one side of the, of the room there and there's one over there but nothing nothing on this side even with the kitchen there was one plug there and that's it nothing over the rest of the kitchen so the problem was I have to run an extension and run an extension cord underneath a carpet to op work on the, the fish tank so every time you want to use the tumble dryer you have to move it over this way and connect it there plus with the lawnmower I have to make a plan and I have to use an extension put it into the kitchen window and then plug it into that plug over there so my aim is to eliminate the extension cords get rid of this carpet put it back in the study where it belongs and to put a plug over there you want to see how I do it stay tuned and check it out hi guys Subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. The first thing that I did was to use the trunking and to mark the places where I want to put the holes so that I can mount the trunking to the wall later on. Next, I proceeded to drill the holes in the trunking on the spaces that I marked. The next step was to see exactly where I want to put the trunking and to mark the space on the roof or the ceiling where I wanted the cable to come through. Oh my word, look at that bless boldness. I really need to cut my hair and keep it cut, that looks really shitty. Next up, I drilled the hole where I wanted the cable to go through and I also took the cable and made sure that it does fit nicely. The next thing that I did was to open up the plug where I actually wanted to do the connection make sure that it, um, if I put the cable through from the top that it can come out at the bottom by the conduit. Time to go up into the place of darkness. Well guys here we are inside the roof of my house. If you are one for scary movies don't climb up here. Ha ha ha. So, uh, let's go and see. There's the conduit that we need to put the cable through. And the hole that I drilled is somewhere there. Oh my fucking word. Am I even going to get in there? That's so small. We'll see. And then, you won't believe it, but my, my phone fell. From this height up to the floor. And it didn't break. I am truly, truly surprised. Well, let's go. I just need to see where am I going to walk. Because you don't want to walk there. If you walk on the ceiling, you're going to come crashing through. Hey. Okay. I'm going to stop for now recording. Let me first... Uh, there, that's the hole that I told there. Sure. Ah, I'm not going to get in there. Maybe. Okay, let me first put the conduit cable through there and then uh, we'll continue recording yeah okay guys this is the conduit that we need so we're going to put this cable down there then we're going to run it across the roof to the hole that we drilled somewhere there and we're going to lower it down and uh i've got too much cable so i think i'm going to make a nice extension with this cable what's whatever is left of this cable so it wasn't a waste of money so, uh, but let me quickly see if I can get the cable down there. 
Okay guys, so what I've noticed is I had to put the cable into the kids bedroom down that conduit because it only had one cable going in and the other cables were making it too difficult. So the reason why I did that was because um, well, let me move this way the other plug in the kitchen as you guys can see from that conduit it has is one cable running from that conduit to that conduit all the way down to the plug in the kitchen that runs the fridge and to the plug that runs all the appliances so there are three or four plugs already on one line so I don't want to overtax it or overload it so that's why I'm going to decide to put it in the kids bedroom and then connect it down there short and sweet I'm going to take that plug in the kids room connect the cable to this plug and then run it across the roof and drop it down in the hole there and as you guys have seen now in the roof that that plug the one behind the speaker and the two in the kitchen is running on the same line and therefore I don't want to overload it and the cable is in remember guys safety first switch off all electricity before you start doing this and I'm proceeding to do the connections opening up the cables and luckily the cable is color coded so just make sure you put black on black red on red and the copper on the copper for the earth and you'll be fine If it looks like I'm struggling, it's because I actually am. Um, it was quite a pain in the ass to get all the cables joined up together and to put them into the one space. Since I found out there that the garage plugs and the bedroom plugs are also connected to this joint from underneath the foundation of the house. So there was already like three cables joined to the section. So making four cables fit into it was quite a challenge. I had to um, open up the cable a bit more, get a bit more copper and wind them up tight, you know, nice and tight so I can make the tip smaller. But uh, at the end of the day I won. I got all the cables together and all the cables fit nicely now. Okay guys, so the wiring is done. It's on and I actually quickly tested the plug with the drill. It's working, that means everything is back to normal on this side. So now it's time to go and connect the plug on the other side. Next up, I proceeded to mark the holes where the casing is going to be, drilled the holes and mounted the plug casing. I opened up the one side of the, of the casing to let the electrical cable through and to show you guys that this is where the plug is going to be. Next up was to make the connection to the plug and then to mount the plug and to close the plug. And remember, please put the cables in exactly the same space as you did on the other side. Neutral, live and earth must be at the same places. Don't mix the cables. So yeah, now I can utilize my new plug to drill the holes and install the trunking in the places where I want them to make the cable secure, look nice and neat and we know nothing's gonna happen to this cable. And that's it guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm just gonna put uh, two saddles in just to secure that bottom part of the cable. 
I'm not going to waste any more trunking just to cover up that little piece. So anyway, the, the couch, everything stands in front of it. No one's going to see it. Um, but yes, that's done. Everything's working. Electricity everywhere. The plug is working fine. Everything is now nice and neat. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon if you want to get notified of any more of my uploads. And then uh, until next time, guys. Cheers.